actually nice. Why didn't I buy that before? I thought that was gonna be terrible. Hey everybody, today we're gonna to take a look at all new makeup. Some of it is new to me. There's only a couple pieces that are new to me. The rest of it is new, uh, some of it really, really new, some of it about a month old, and I just haven't had a chance to try it on for all of you because there's been so many new releases from Chanel and Dior and etc. Um, we've got Victoria Beckham, we have Byredo, we have Suku, and on my lips right now is the Dior Maximizer in Intense Fig. First was the item that I was talking about in my clip at the intro because I was playing around with all this makeup and uh, over the week, and this particular product I've had for quite some time. I just haven't had time to try it for all of you. And I don't know why I waited so long to buy it. I think there was some conversation at the time that the compact wasn't great or that the shades were too brown, uh, too orange, but neither one seems to be the case. What am I talking about? This is the Victoria Beckham bronzer. A lot of Victoria Beckham. I actually did a video not that long ago where I talked about all my Victoria Beckham products and I really like, you know, everything I've ever bought from Victoria Beckham. But there was a few things that I didn't have. One of them was the bronzer. And I had said that I was under the impression that it was too warm and that the case, you know, didn't work well and everything. I don't think that's the case at all. First of all, the case is beautiful. It's the typical Victoria Beckham, um, you know, a hard case. I forgot the name of this. It'll come to me when I'm not thinking of what I'm trying to say. But uh, it's really hefty. It's a beautiful compact. It has a click closure. I mean, it's it's stunning. I really love it. And the shades that, uh, that are in here, I bought the lightest, which is 01, and the, the warm is dusk, and the contour is sun-kissed. So it's I mean, I, I think this is great for my coloring as pale as I am. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out on my face and you can take a look. I will also swatch it on the back of my hand. And may I just say that um, the powder is really finely milled. It's really beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I will probably buy the Zero Two uh, next because this is really nice. This is really nice. It's so odd. How did I not? Okay, anyway. So you can see these are very light shades, very light, because, you know, I'm pale, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use, this is a little bit cooler, so I'm gonna use that in the contour. Let's go ahead and put it on the face. Yeah, see, this is a great contour for me. Um, again, if you are fair to light, this will be perfect. If you want something deeper, I'm sure the Zero Two will allow you to do that. I do intend to buy the Zero Two. I haven't bought the new blue liner that she came out with yet, so I will probably do that and then buy the blue liner. For those of you who don't know, I'm selling my low buy. Um, that will be ending soon. Summer is going to be very expensive. Um, I will have some details over on my Patreon page that that should go up soon about some of the summer collections. I actually had um, some of the summer collections that were gonna be sent to me early, but unfortunately they got stuck in the whole Royal Mail mess. So I might not have things as early as I had hoped, but but I'll still have the information over on Patreon some, and some pictures and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take the lighter shade. That is really beautiful. If you're looking for a very natural, I'm gonna take a little bit of the contour shade and use a little bit of a fluffier brush. If you're looking for a really natural contour slash bronzer and you're pale, that is perfect. I have a feeling that this shade is a little bit like the new Jones Road bronzers. I have not tried those out yet. I haven't been thinking about picking them up actually. So, but I think it's a similar look. You know, it's very natural, has a little bit of pink. Uh, this one is fantastic. For, for a fair to light complexion when you're looking for a light bronze, a light contour. I have no idea why I waited so long to pick that up. It looks phenomenally good. And it's very finely milled and it, it blends beautifully. Yeah, that's, 
Who knows why I waited that long, guys? Probably because I was trying out everything else under the sun. Uh, I actually do have the Smoky Quartz Liner from Victoria Beckham, which I haven't shown you on the channel, and the highlighter from Victoria Beckham. So let's take a look at the, the highlighter first. There's one shade. It comes in a stick like this. Shade is called Pearl. Ooh, that's nice. And let's, let's put it on here. This would be great for travel, I think. I like to use my fingers with like a cream product because I feel like it works better on my dry skin, but you, know, you could just use the stick itself or an applicator. Oh, wow, it looks great. Let's see if it dries down out into the skin, but that looks phenomenal. I also picked up some things from Byredo. Um, one of them is a new lipstick. One of them is the Mixed Emotions, no, State of Emotions. <laughs> Um, clamshell, the eyeshadow quad. I will, the eyeshadow palette, I'll have that in a future video, maybe Saturday's video, I'm not sure. But the lipstick is interesting. This is on the fence, and this shade is a matte. But the Byredo mattes are really creamy, strangely enough. So I did pick it up, and I really, really like the shade. Uh, it's a beautiful shade. I'll try it on today for you guys. But I also, I do admit, I love the Byredo packaging. I just think it's really interesting. I also picked up their um, all-in-one refillable brow pencil because I was just like, well, we'll try it. This is the lightest shade. This is sand. It has a spoolie at one end and then the brow pencil at the other, and it does come with another uh, brow pencil, so it's refillable, so you can, there's another uh, one in the packaging. Now, sand, I said it's light, and it was the shade that looked best for me, because it's got a little bit of warmth in it. There wasn't anything that had like a red or any kind of warmish undertone. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this on my brows and see what we think. Well, it's really easy to use. The pencil is narrow enough that you can just draw a line like I'm doing, uh, but thick enough that you can fill in the brow. I don't know about the shade. I'm gonna have to wear it around during the daytime and see, because it's night now. It's kind of hard to tell in this type of lighting. But to be honest with you, I, I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, okay. Nothing specific that I think I need to, to call out. I mean, it's a, it's a brow pencil, but I will say I, it goes on really easily. It's not, it's not like, it's kind of waxy. You know what I mean? For, you know, brow pencils makes sense. Uh, it's got kind of a waxy feel, but it's not really difficult to get the shade on. Like sometimes with some brow pencils, they're so waxy, like they're so, you know, they're not malleable at all. So drawing on a line feels like it takes forever. <laughs> this, as you can see, is going on pretty easily, but it feels like it's gonna stick because it's not powdery. I think this would come off like I got rained on. I think it has more, it's like a combination wax powder product. It's interesting. A spoolie on the other end, is a spoolie. I mean, how many different ways can you can you have a spoolie? But I'd say it's, you know, it's a thicker one. It's not a super narrow one, but I'll keep using that. See what I think. Yeah, I actually like the look so far and the brows actually it looks pretty nice. Let me know what you think about the shade. Like I said, I'll wear it for a couple days. Um, I will have my update video coming out soon. So, Next, let's talk about Suku. So the Suku Spring Summer Collection came out. It's been out at Selfridges for quite some time. I picked up mine from Harrods, so I actually didn't uh, get mine as early. And I wanna mention about the blushes. I have said several times, and in fact, I think in my best of I talked about this, my favorite blush formula <laughs> is the new Suku Melting Blush. It reminds me of the Chanel of old. Well, like the Chanel of old, it has been discontinued. 
I did not see that coming. I, I had heard some stuff about the color blushes being discontinued, but not the melting blushes. So these are now not gonna be made anymore. And I would say, I'm not one to be like, you know, get them all now. I, I'm not really that kind of person because things go bad in his makeup, but because it's powder, it should last quite some time. And if it's anything like my Chanel blushes, I mean, I've had those for decades. I don't know if these will last that long. I have no way of knowing that, but I, w I do feel like they would last quite some time. And these are, this is like an amazing formula. I I'm really actually very upset that they're discontinuing it. I assume they said it's gonna do a supply. I don't know. There are a lot of um, product left. So if you're looking for shades that you never picked up, the, the normal shades, not the limited edition shades, I'm gonna show you the limited edition from um, Spring Summer today, you know, one through 10. I have most of them. I'm only missing like a couple of shades and I will be ordering them. I, I, I have somebody who's gonna, who already has plenty of them and is gonna be sending them to me. Uh, when I can get them later and there's a couple shades that I don't have I, I, There's a couple shades that I might even think about getting a second one I don't know But I will tell you that if you are interested in these blushes and you want to try them you have a limited time because They've made what they made and then there's not going to be any more at least that's my understanding so the limited edition ones are the 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. Uh, I have the 102, 103, and 105. 103, 104, 105 today. And uh, this is the spring summer. And so I think some of these are still at Liberty London, Selfridges, and Harrods. Um, I will swatch them for you today. I won't put them all on my face because that would just look weird. But like I said, I don't think they're making any more. I have... Um, I can swatch all the melting blushes and put them on Instagram, although not right now because my phone lost its mind. But I can do that if you guys are interested. So here's one of three. Again, I'll swatch these in a second. Here is one of four. I was really not happy <laughs> about these going away. It's one of four. Every time I love something, it's like they just continue. Uh, 105. So I was just like, well, Better get the ones that I, I don't have. I have most of the collection. Um, there's just a few shades, like I think two shades that I never picked up. And I was like, oh, I'll get them later because they're part of the permanent collection. I have all the limited edition, but you know, guys, that didn't work out like I thought it would. Okay, so the first one is 103. The one in the middle, the, the orangey one is 105. And this one, 105, uh, 104, sorry, this one's 105. The 105 has like a pinky, almost holographic nature to it. Almost like a lavender. Uh, I also have the lavender blush in the melting, which I think is 01. Uh, again, I'll have to do a swatch comparison of all the shades for you at some point, but it's a really beautiful shade. It's very unique. If you're looking to pick up a couple of melting blushes and you're like, well, I don't want to pick up all of them or I you know, can't afford to pick up a whole bunch at once. The 105 is really a unique shade. How well it's going to look on the skin, that's another, <laughs> we're about to find out, but uh, but it is unique. I don't have anything else in my collection quite, quite like it. Um, okay, so let's use 105. And I'll kind of use it a little bit as like highlighter. We'll put it over the, um, the Victoria Beckham because like I said, it's pink, it's light, but it almost has like a holographic nature to it. Now on a deeper skin tone, I think you're gonna get, you know, almost more of like a highlighter effect because it's so lightly pigmented and has those like highlighting properties. Look how beautiful that is. <sighs> I love these blushes, I'm just very disappointed. Anyway, so that's the 105. I thought that was the one that most people would be interested in seeing. Let me take the 103 and use it sort of as a pop of color just here on the cheek in the front. I think you can see it's it's a bright pink, that one there. And then the 104 is a, a very nice pumpkin-y shade, which I think will be great for fall. Uh, obviously, you can use these shades any time of year. I just, I like using those kind of pumpkin shades more in the fall. So yeah, that's just a beautiful look, those two shades together. Um, 
Yeah, again, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, sorry, I recommended something so highly that is now going to be discontinued. I had no way of knowing. They're also getting rid of uh, lip fogs and I think the lip glosses too. Um, there's something over on the Suku page, and I know uh, Lexi uh, talked about it on her channel as well. It's it's very disappointing for all of us because we you know love the the Suku brand. Uh, and along with that, I also picked up the number twelve eyeshadow quad. This is not limited edition. This is part of the regular uh, collection. I, the limited edition one for spring and summer, honestly, just did not really appeal to me. So I was, I, again, being on my low buy, I was like, I can, I don't need it. Uh, but the shades in here, I think are really beautiful. Um, I will mention, and I'll, I'll swatch these, the shades that are in this remind me very much of what's coming for Dior summer. And again, I was supposed to have Dior Summer by now and have it for you over on Patreon, but that's not gonna happen because it's lost in the Royal Mail, but I will have pictures over on Patreon. But, spoiler alert, that's kind of what Dior, that's one of the, the quads that Dior Summer is gonna have. It's gonna be very similar to that. Let's try it on the eye. We're not gonna do a super long look, um, but do it kind of quickly so you guys can get a feel for for what it looks like. Let's use the light tan beige shade. Just using that in the crease. Yeah, there's actually a lot coming out in, um, I think it's gonna be April. It might be March, April, but that I really do wanna, I'm going to want to buy. So this low buy in the first half of the year has been, has been good. Yeah, this is a really nice, Transition shade is a little bit deeper than my skin tone. It's warm. I think this one's definitely warm, uh, but things go a little bit cooler on my skin. So I'd say on, on most folks, I think this is going to be like a neutral beige kind of shade, but it's very pretty. I really, I really like that. Let's use the opal, opalescent shade on the inner corner already because I just want to show you like, think about the Suku shades, the reason I always overbuy Suku, and I'm glad now that I did because I got a lot of the blushes, they, they always look like nice in the pan, but not, you know, amazing. You're just kind of like, oh, it's fine. And then you put it on, you're like, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so um, you can see how that shade, that opalescent shade is just, it's so stunning. Like, I don't know what Suku does. I, I'm, I'm going to guess they just have very high quality ingredients, which is one of the reasons that this blush is probably didn't discontinue because because of supply chain disruption, they probably can't get access to some of the supplies. Uh, unfortunately, I bet you that's, you know, what it is. And it's just, you know, higher grade quality ingredients just translate to some time, most of the time to, uh, to a better, beautiful, you know, more seamless look. One of the reasons I fell in love with luxury beauty a very long time ago, because if you invest in something that has better quality, a lot of the time, you know, the, the formulas and stuff are better. Um, not always though, don't get me wrong. I know that many, many brands have tried to cut corners lately, which does not make me happy. All right, we're gonna take the brown shade. We all know who we're talking about. All right, let's just use this on the corner of the eye, deepen this out. Kind of using this on like the uh, outer third on the lid itself and then into the transition, just deepening that. And then just dusting what's ever left on my brush across the lid just to create a very light um, base for the gray. This is already beautiful. Like I just like this is just a really base, you know, it's basic. Don't get me wrong. I know that like the, the shades aren't revolutionary or anything, but they always just look so nice on the eye and they blend so well. I'm just always impressed. All right. I'm just going to blend the uh, deeper brown into the crease just a little bit and I'll clean up under the eye in a second, but I want to get this on first. Take this gorgeous silvery shade. We're gonna be careful with it because I think it's got the possibility of uh, fallout. Not like a ton, but you know. And I'm shearing it out. I'm not making it like super um, thick. 
That's why I'm using a brush and not my finger. It has a tremendous amount of color payoff though, guys. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, we're gonna go back in with the lightest tan shade, the original one. The camera cut out a little bit, so all I did was clean up my, my under eye, but I think you can see, like, it's just a stunning, <laughs> it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, quad. I'm gonna take a little bit of the opalescent, put it on my finger, and just sort of pat very lightly. I don't wanna use a lot of it, because I love that gray sparkle. I just wanna add Every, every time I get Suku, I, I love it. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite, I say that a lot, uh, one of my favorite quads by them. It's simple, but it's stunning. And I think the shades are just really a beautiful combination. The two browns create a really nice neutral base for this glimmery, shiny gray and opalescent shade. And I think you could just use the two browns and the opalescent, or you could just use the gray, frankly. Yeah, it's just, it's really nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, let's use the Victoria Beckham, the Smoky Quartz. I don't know how well it's gonna go with these shades, but let's try it out. Like I said, I haven't bought the blue shade yet. Um, maybe when I go back to buy the bronzer or shade two, I'll get that. Let's try it on the eye. You know, this might've been the perfect, this is like just an accident, happy accident, but this might be the perfect compliment for this Quad, it goes so beautifully. If you've never used the Victoria Beckham liners, they are incredibly easy to use. They are very, very soft and smudgeable. These are Kajal liners. So these aren't, these aren't like dry liners that you feel like you could put on and they don't smudge. These are smudgeable. <laughs> Once you put them on and smudge them out, Mine do stay a very long time and I haven't any problems with like transfer or anything, but I have very dry eyelids, very dry. Oh, I really love this look. I like love this look. Okay, uh, let me curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I am trying out a mascara. It will be in uh, my update or, or I bought these things so you don't have to video or whatever's coming up. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna call it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't like it, <laughs> but I'll have the update soon. So let me just put on some mascara and then we'll finish with the Rado and I'll show you some of the uh, Suku lips. Back with some mascara. Uh, like I said, it'll be in my update video soon. I have a couple update videos coming, basically like some things that I bought so you guys don't have to. And then of course, um, some updates on some things I've been trying. All right, so the, the lip, what are they calling? Treatment wrapping lips, gloss. So these aren't the lip fogs. And I, I'll put down below what I think is gonna be discontinued. I forget now what they said, what it was, but it's a really just, again, I know I'm going on about it, but it's really disappointing because that formula is just amazing. It was like the Chanel and you know, they discontinued the Chanel and now they're just continuing the Suku, I feel like. <sighs> okay, anyway, so I only got two. I got one which is the limited edition shade, which is kind of like a holographic lavender, like the Dior Maximizer. I took off the Dior Maximizer, by the way. Um, so the shades are 101, which is the lavender, and then 02. And so 02 is like a nice, warm brown and the 101 is a very light holographic see-through <laughs> kind of shade. Uh, let's put it next to the holographic lavender by Dior. And yes, I have them all right here for me because I absolutely love them. Seriously, I might, I don't know if I'll buy every shade they have, but I might, I might come close. I like them that much. So there's the Dior, here's the Suku. Dior is shinier, of course. Suku has like more pink, I think. All right, so first let's use the Byredo. Like I said, this is uh, a matte shade, but the Byredo mattes, 
don't know, they're creamy. It's, it's interesting. Anyway, this is on the fence. Not a great shade. It's just a really great neutral pinky brown shade. And for those of you who like mattes, this is matte. It's just not dry. I, I can't really explain to you. It feels like lip balm. Anyway, I like it very much. Now, I haven't worn it long enough. Again, I'll have these updates, you know, in my updated video. I haven't worn it long enough. And I think long enough is like eight hours to see if it like dries out my lips. But I have worn it for more than four hours and it didn't. So I have to say, I'm actually kind of impressed. It's like the only matte formula where I've been like, oh, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, so let's use the 101 gloss over it. I know it kind of ruins it because this is a matte, but I want you to just kind of see what the gloss can look like. Oh, interesting. The gloss feels creamy. Hmm. Yeah, it's this, it's this middle one again. Um, they did say that treatment wrapping lip, lip gloss. So maybe there's like some, cause it feels very, feels very emollient, like very creamy. I like it. Interesting. It didn't change the color of the lipstick very much though. The 101 does not have a tremendous amount of pigment. I think it's more like you use a liner, you know, put that over it, or if you just want to use it over like a lipstick like this one, it made it a little bit pinker, but not, you know, not a lot. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. My wrap up would be that Suku blushes are going away, the melting blushes. They're my favorite formula uh, since the Chanel blush formula. So I would strongly encourage you to pick them up in whatever shades you can get them. The Victoria Beckham products continue to amaze me. I love the bronzer. I'm gonna pick it up in 02 because I think this is perfect for my skin as it is right now because I'm very pale. Uh, but in summer I might want something a little deeper. So I'm gonna get the 02. I still haven't picked up her new blue liner but the Smoky Quartz is stunning. I really, uh, it's a great shade. Love the shade and I love her liners. Um, the highlighter I think is actually really nice and it dried down, it did not stay tacky. So this stick is a really nice stick. I hope she has more shades because it's as far as I understand, there's just the pearl right now. But I think that's a really lovely look and it's easy to travel with and you know, that's that's key. That's awesome. Um, so I really like that. The Byredo Matte Lipstick, really like it and this shade, any of you that are looking for like this neutral pink but doesn't make it look washed out, the On The Fence is really nice. If you're looking for a creamy matte, I have to say that I highly recommend this. The liner, the um, brow crayon, I actually like it. It's staying on really well, it was really easy to use. I'm not sure about the shade, but you know, again, it's a little, it's a little hard to figure out. So I'll give that some time and, and see, you know, what we think of it, but I really like it. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, the Suku, the 12 eyeshadow quad. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I'll have more updates on things coming soon. There is more, more, there is more, uh, new makeup on the way. Summer's coming here soon, believe it or not, even though it's not even March. So <laughs> thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.